the, the, the courage to say that this new designation of urgent care centres as local A&Es is dangerous, is deceptive, and could easily cost lives. Yeah. I think that's what I think yeah. that's what he actually did. I think this is, and it's, it's, and it's a shame. It really, it's a question for the, 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 the conservative politicians here, really, because it's pressure. They wanted they wanted a, a get out of jail free card uh, in return for uh, supporting Hunt's proposals. But this is the largest hospital closure program ever in the, in the history of the NHS. Uh, it, it's, it's a, uh, it's, and, 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 and it's shameful, it's shameful that, and it's shameful, well, and, it, and, it, and, it, and it's shameful. Well, Mary, Mary, your colleagues in around Chase, MPs like Nick Dubois, even cabinet ministers up there are opposing the closure of their local hospitals. You're supporting. You've supported it all the way through. Yes. You've never had a good word to say for Charing Cross. You what pretend your constituents, you West Well, life. I had a look before I came here, and when I speak almost every week in Parliament about the yeah, Charing Cross and the closures right. here, Mary I, has and taken part has taken people. part in two debates that I found over the last year and a half. In the first one, she didn't mention Charing Cross. She, she just mentioned West Middlesex. In the second one, she said she was pleased that the A&E at Charing Cross had been saved. Yeah. You know, it hasn't been saved. Uh, so, so, you know, at least, at least be honest. And Mark, you be honest about the fact that, the, that there is going to be no proper A&E service there. And the consequence is not just what the gentleman asking the question said at, 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 at Chase Farm, which is that, that you're going to end up with um, people dying because they go to the wrong hospital thinking facilities are there. But there simply won't be the capacity in the system. To, this, is, this, is, this is a quote for, um, this week from what's happened since they closed the A&E uh, at Chase Farm. Uh, and, it, and it says this. A packed A&E department was forced to turn away ambulances and declare a state of emergency just weeks after the controversial closure of a neighbouring emergency ward. Less than seven weeks later, i.e. after Ch Chase Farm closed, Barnet Hospital was left crippled by the huge number of walking patients and ambulance arrivals on Friday, the January the 31st. At the height of the crisis, ambulances were left queuing outside the hospital, and by 2.30 p.m., 19 had been left unable to transfer their patients because of the drastic bed shortage. Thank, thank so you. Know, that, that, is, that, is what, that is what we have to face in West London, and, it, and, it, and it's dishonest, frankly, for people like Mark Spencer and for the politicians here to say that it isn't. But, Mary, 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 Mary.